So he returned unto her again. We just read that. We just read that in Deuteronomy. The Lord said it's done. She's defiled. You can't deal with that no more. It's done. Women were created to be monogamous, man. Monogamous for one man. Throughout their whole life. I know these women are crazy. Let's be honest. This guy's crazy. Because you had 10 men. 20 men. How many had? Who knows? All right. That's not the point. The fact of the matter is that's not what you were created for. You weren't created to try out different men. All right, let me see what this guy have. Let me see what this guy have. I don't like you either. I don't like you either. Maybe I can deal with you. All right, this is just a fly by night. Uh, we just partying that night. All right, yeah, well, I'm tired now. You can get some. All right, now, all right, I'm serious now. Yeah, I'm going to get married. <laughs> That's not how it go, man. If the woman go play the whole ass on her head, the woman go play the whole ass on her head. If a mama, daddy didn't teach her no decency, that's on her head. That feel bad. Feel bad. But she hook up with a brother and don't take her to the depth of it. If she go up to a brother and don't make her understand the depth of it. And he got her as his woman, and she go up and lay with another man. What can you do, huh? Let it go. <laughs> I mean, what's, what can you do? Can you fix it up? You know what I'm saying? Listen, man, we understand what's going on in America. They make everything good. They say you can take her back. They got all kinds of stars, and people take their woman back. I've seen them blast it off on them. She's all these TV shows. Angela Jolie. <laughs> Angela Jolie. She blasts off men and women. And it's all right. She can bounce back anyway. All these guys got money, whoever. Who know they all have money? It's all right to come back. Broke cats are doing this, man. Broke nothing, nothing. You ain't got nothing but your integrity. And you let that go. You broke, ain't got nothing. But they say a pot to piss in. But you let go of your integrity, man. At least you can do is hold fast to this word. Read that again, huh? Jeremiah 3 and 1. They say, if a man put away his wife, and she go from him, and become another man's, shall he return unto her again? Right. Shall not the land be greatly polluted? But thou hast played the harlot with many lovers. Yet return again to me, saith the Lord. That does not mean that you can take your woman back. Have she played the harlot on you with many lovers? If that's what it means, that means your woman can go out and play the harlot with many lovers. She can deal with a couple guys. It's all right. Take her back. She says she's coming back. Take her back. You must be out of your mind. You know you bugging. You know you cats are bugging, and you put that out. Gathering of Christ. They put that out, and that's garbage, man. Didn't they put that out? Yeah. Told us that personally, man. And that's whack. That's out, out of the zone, man. It's a no-go. If somebody down if, if if somebody's getting down like that with the gathering of Christ, we spitting them out. We putting them on front street, man. You understand? Lies. That's not what the scripture means. You cannot take her back. She is defiled. The Lord said in the New Testament also. Save for fornication, she's done. Must forgive her everything. Everything she do. But if she go and lay with another man, it's all over. She's done. What can you do with her? She's defiled, man. It's done. You finish that verse? All right, come back. What you got now? Deuteronomy done. Deuteronomy done. Numbers, hold that. What you holding out? Ezekiel 20. You read, you read, you read Ezekiel 20, yes. 32, right? Give me the Timothy. Finish yourself up. First Timothy 3 and 6. Just want to tap into this because we don't, we don't want you guys to know. You know I mean, that was coming to your mind would not be so. That you want to be like the heathen to serve one in stone. That want to be like the heathen, take your woman back after she go off. You understand? And all that madness you're putting out there, man. You understand? You guys watering down the scriptures, man. Making it real, real weak. Watering it down. His brother there, Ramakad, he talking about there's no more holly, high, high holy days. Sorry to call your name. I didn't mean to call your name, but it's out. <laughs> Lying body, you understand? They talking about there's no more high holy days. 
It's outrageous, man. Listen, it's outrageous. We're not going to get weary. We're not going to be weary with the grace of the Father. We're going to endure it to the end. But we're going to fight against all these lies. Bring it out. 2 Corinthians 10, 5. Oh, what you got? Show me what you got. Huh? 1 Timothy 3 and 5. Yes. For if a man know not how to rule his own house, how should he take care of the church of the most? I mean, what are you talking about? You got a wicked woman. Read that again, huh? First Listen, Timothy. I got a wicked woman. Are you, are you ruling the house? <laughs> If you got a wicked woman, are you ruling the house? The woman is wicked, so she do anything she want to do. You claim she's wicked. Wicked means she's against Christ. Wicked means she's played a hand against Christ. Contrary, man. Everybody, yeah, my woman's wicked. My woman's wicked. You guys deserve to be together. My brother said the wicked is an Edomite, so the woman must be Edomite. Brother said. No, 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 no. They said, my woman is wicked. Get you a Gentile. Check out a Moabite. They said, check out a Moabite. They talk about the Negroes, man. They said, my woman admitted it. So they can come out in the street and call all the Negro women sluts or whatever they want to call them. But they got wicked women themselves who admit that they're wicked. Well, hold that. Uh, hold what you got. Give me that. Uh, 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 please ask these. 7-7. Seven, seven. Show, show me what you got, uh. 2 Corinthians 10 and 5. 2 Corinthians 10 and 3. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. That's not what we're warring after, man. We're not warring after the flesh because we're bringing out these points. We want to dress these cats. They got their heads all messed up. You understand? Straight. They mess with the spirits way out of the way. You know I mean? Cats talking about you. There's no more high holy days. Brothers out of his mind, man. Cats are flipping out of the world. You understand? No more high holy days. They're in vain. Tell my dad in vain. We see why you cats running around. I mean, it's a problem, man. We got a problem with them dreadlocks, too, huh? Yes, then we didn't get, get a chance to say that to you. But you catch these dreadlocks in the Bonganati in Brooklyn, the brother with the Bonganati, the, 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 uh, with Nathaniel Seven, all these dread. That's a dead head, man. That's a straight dead head. You understand? It's idol worshiping, man. The dreadlocks and the idol worship by the Rastafarians, man. You can't come with no dead head. Here, dead as can be, dirty as can be. And you want to be some righteous cat? It's not going to happen, huh? It's not going to happen. Guaranteed, man. That's a dead head, and nobody's afraid of your dreads. Dread. The word dread is like a terror. The Lord is our dread. You understand? That's how we got for the dread. No way in the Bible says must wear your head like that. Dead head. The head of here is dead. It's suffocated. It's twisted. It's knotted. So it just falls down. So it just hangs. It has no more life. No more body. It's a dead head. Open up one of them nasty little locks. And you got a lot of dirt in there. You're going to find a lot of dirt in there, man. A lot of dirt. Read it out. 2 Corinthians 10 4. Yes. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. They're not carnal, man. So don't even think like that. They're not carnal because there's nothing personal here, man. There's no personal vibrations going on here. All this stuff is impersonal, man. Me personally, I love these brothers, man. Love these cats. Few cats I got a chance to meet, love them, man. It's hot. We all into this group, man. All trying to get in under this vibration, man. But being this brother who we who we raise up together with. If I go off, I'm sure these brothers are going to have some hard stuff to say about me, man. And come come rebuke me nice and hard to my face, man. And come and light me a fire. Right up under my backside because I screwed up the zone. If they go off, I got juice for them. You understand? I'm not, I got juice for them. It's impersonal, man. No matter who it is, you off. If you off, you off. If I'm off, I'm off. If you off, he's off. If you off, you off, man. You don't match up with these scriptures and you're in the way. And you're in the way. Get out of the way of this Bible. Show them what you got, huh? 2 Corinthians 10 and 4. Right. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. They're not carnal. But mighty through the most high to the pulling down of strongholds. But mighty to the most high to the pulling down of strongholds, man. The high holy days are in, high holy days are in vain. You must be kidding, man. Out of your mind. That's why the Feast of Tabernacles is coming back in the new kingdom. And the new moon and all that. Why? Because they're dead? Because they're in vain? Must be kidding. What are we waiting for? High holy days are dead. What about the Sabbath? What about the most holy? The Sabbath. Is that dead too? What are you trying to kill? 
All you guys are committing suicide, man. You go against these scriptures. Check out the weapons of our warfare. Read it. Casting down imaginations. Casting down all those garbage imaginations. High holy days are in vain. Your woman, you can take her back after she played the whore. All those things are dead, man. Everything goes according to the righteousness of the Most High in this book. This thing don't change. Read it. 